Hi there, my name is Joshua Brown from the Interview Training Company, howtobecome.com, and in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass a Sainsbury's interview. So if you have a job interview coming up for Sainsbury's for any role whatsoever, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm gonna help you to succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I will give you a list of Sainsbury's interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll also provide you with example, high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your Sainsbury's interview before finally telling you how you can download further resources, including all of the answers to help you to prepare. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview and I can only do that if you're subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's get started with the first interview question that I strongly recommend you prepare for, and that is, tell me about yourself and why you want to work at Sainsbury's. Now, this is going to be the first interview question that you get asked, and it's your opportunity to talk about the skills and qualities you have, not your home life or your personal life. Focus on your passion for this role and how you're going to add value to their organization and the Sainsbury's brand. Now make sure you download a copy of the job description and focus on telling them how your skills are a match. It is really, really important that you do this because that job description is your blueprint for answering these questions and for scoring highly. So make sure you use power words such as loyal, commercially aware, enthusiastic, I'm motivated. These words will resonate positively with the hiring manager and a really good tip here is you can find the exact words you need to say on the job description. For example, if on that job description they state they're looking for someone who is a team worker, someone who has excellent communication skills, then make sure you use those exact words and phrases throughout your Sainsbury's interview. Okay, here's a great example answer to help you with that first interview question. Tell me about yourself and why you want to work at Sainsbury's. Here we go. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this position today. I've read the job description for this position at Sainsbury's and I feel I have what it takes to deliver excellent service, to be a dependable and trustworthy employee and to be part of a team that collaborates and shares innovative ideas to provide the greatest experience for customers and co-workers. I've been a long time Sainsbury's fan and a regular shopper at your stores and I've been impressed by the brand, the friendliness of the employees and your ethos. It is apparent that you are a forward-thinking organization that has made a significant impact in a competitive market. I have a proven track record of working alone and as part of a team with excellent communication and people skills. I'm someone who always strives to maintain the highest of standards at all times. Outside of work, I'm driven by my family who are fully supportive of my career and the shift work that comes with the job. I enjoy hobbies such as going to the gym where I can maintain healthy fitness and concentration levels. If you employ me in this position, I'll be a reliable, driven and customer focused employee who will be proud to work for the Sainsbury's brand and deliver excellent customer service and value to your customers. Wow, what a great way to answer that opening interview question, tell me about yourself, or sometimes it's worded as introduce yourself. Let's now take a look at the next interview question which is, what are the core values of Sainsbury's and what makes us different from other competing brands? Now your answer to this interview question must demonstrate the preparation you have done prior to the interview. Look at Sainsbury's website for their values. Look at their LinkedIn profile and their social media channels and mention any of the local Sainsbury's store's achievements that stood out to you that the company has recently accomplished. And don't forget to mention how the Sainsbury's values match what you are after in a new job role. E.g. mention the company's reputation for excellent customer service, building a great place to work, community, well-being and inclusivity focus. So here's a great example answer to help you. What are the core values of Sainsbury's and what makes us different from the other competing brands? Here we go. From what I've discovered through my research before applying for a position with Sainsbury's, you have a core focus on a variety of values including making a great place to work, well-being, celebrating everyone's ability and community. You stand out from your competition, not just because of these principles, but also because you are a trusted retailer that gives value and quality to its consumers by being fair and efficient in all that you do. 
The Sainsbury's brand is also known for its investment in training, development and a variety of activities to ensure that its employees are equipped to provide its consumers with the greatest shopping experience possible. And a key difference from other supermarkets is that you are one of the few FTSE 100 organisations to have a policy for carers, having worked with UK carers for the past 15 years. This really appeals to me as I feel it adds to the idea that I'll be serving the community by working for you and I take pride in knowing this. I believe your company will provide an environment for me to thrive in and deliver excellent customer service. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you are ready, click that link in the top right hand corner, it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my 21 Sainsbury's interview questions and answers for all job roles to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next question for you. As one of the leading supermarkets in Britain, we pride ourselves on exceptional customer service and care. How would you deal with a customer complaint whilst working for Sainsbury's? Now dealing with difficult customers is a reality many employees face and employers want to know that you will remain calm and professional and represent their company in a positive light at all times. It is therefore important to demonstrate you will not be reactive or respond negatively at all. Instead, show that you have good customer service and communication skills and that you are aware that you are representing the company and you can follow their policies and guidelines. So again, here's a great example answer to help you. How would you deal with a customer complaint whilst working for Sainsbury's? Working at Sainsbury's would mean giving it my all in order to deliver the best possible service. I believe I would love this since I receive a lot of enjoyment from resolving difficulties and turning complaints into positive outcomes. I would always follow my training and the company's refund, exchange and other policies when dealing with a customer complaint. I would smile and retain a bright and pleasant demeanour since I feel this would help to ease whatever concerns the customer may be having. I'd pay great attention to the customer and display strong listening skills, such as nodding to show that I understand and I would express empathy if needed. After I'd listened to their problem, I'd start to work on addressing it as soon as possible and inform them that I'd assume responsibility for the situation and would make sure it was rectified. Throughout my time dealing with the situation, if there was anything I was unsure about, I would approach my supervisor or line manager for clarification. Okay, let's take a look at the next Sainsbury's interview question, which is, what skills do you possess that you think would be an asset to our team here at Sainsbury's? Now, for your answer to this interview question, you must focus on the job description and how it matches what you are after in a new job role. Again, mention the company's reputation for excellent customer service and how you match all of these skills and qualities that they are after, the skills and qualities that they have listed in the job description. For example, customer service, communication, flexibility with shift work and taking on new tasks, learning new skills quickly. These are all key skills the hiring manager will want to hear. So here's a great example answer to help you. What skills do you possess that you think would be an asset to our team here at Sainsbury's? Here we go. I'm a diligent individual that takes the time to properly learn and improve new skill sets. I have extensive experience working in a customer focused setting and I'm well aware of the importance of customer satisfaction. Because there will be no business without customers, it's critical that every member of the team strives to provide excellent service. I feel I have the necessary abilities, knowledge and experience to carry out the role to the highest standards at all times. I'm a great team member who can always be counted on to do my job to the best of my ability. I'm a flexible individual who recognises the need to be available on short notice to cover shifts or increase workload. In addition to these skills and qualities, I'm an excellent communicator. In my previous job, I had to communicate with consumers regularly and I feel that this experience will help me in a new capacity within this role. Finally, I'm excellent at picking up new skills. Therefore, I will be able to rapidly learn the tasks of this position and integrate into the team swiftly in order to assist them in achieving their objectives. Okay, let's take a look at another Sainsbury's interview question. This time the question is, give an example of when you delivered excellent customer service. 
Now for this question, you must think of a time where you have helped someone else and obtained an excellent outcome. For example, has anyone left a testimonial or review after you have served them? Now, if you have never worked in a customer service role before, you could instead focus on a time where you have witnessed excellent customer service happening and demonstrate that you fully understand the importance of excellent customer service and how it builds a company's reputation and leads to repeat business. So here's a great example answer to help you. Give an example of when you have delivered excellent customer service. I served a customer who was undecided about which pair of trainers to buy whilst working as a customer assistant for a prominent fashion company. The customer had gone to a few other stores but nothing had fit him in terms of comfort or style. I wanted to turn the situation around because he sounded defeated and afraid that there was nothing out there for him. I inquired about the customer's preferences, such as preferred colours, patterns, as well as whether they preferred high top or low top trainers. After learning about his preferences, I went through the shelves looking for two or three pairs that would appeal to him. He pondered for a long time and I allowed him freedom to choose which pair he preferred. Now during this time, I double checked that I had all three pairs product characteristics and customer reviews loaded, so I could offer him the most accurate picture of each. He finally settled on a pair of green slip-on trainers. Finally, I double checked that the customer was wearing the proper size. At the cash register, I gave him some advice on how to keep his trainers in good shape so that they would last as long as possible. The consumer submitted a nice testimonial of the product on the website three weeks later, complimenting our business explicitly for the information and service that he had received. Now the next thing to do is please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now, head through to my website howtobecome.com where you can download these slides and get access to 21 Sainsbury's interview questions and high scoring answers to each question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access and the slides in your inbox within two minutes from now and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also, more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like this one. If you have any questions regarding any job interview, please feel free to put these in the comment section below where I'll get back to you with the specific interview questions for you to prepare for. And finally, if you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best for your interview. Have a great day.